Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. I got a little cold here, um, so I sound a bit weird. Not not COVID, though. I, I had COVID tested. Anyway, today we're going to the Wednesday, December 14th, 2022 Crosswords, and go for that 1,020-day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Yacht, Yoshi, uh... Seeing Hundo Treat uh, Stein Act On Act On Did it ever occur to you? RL Stein, Honda, and Ingot. Maybe you should have just gone for the down for the crosses on that one. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Matthew Stock today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription, and I'm seeing shaded squares. Look like they might be crossing over black squares. Anyway, let's see what Matthew Stock has in store for us. Let's get into it. Straw Pole. This is Panera. Seeds to be ovaries. No. Uh, caps and lab here. A tingle. Numb. French Beloved and... Kept in the loops, that's C seed. So share or sherry. What sharing is caring. Uh, otherwise else and mommy dearest is a doe. Number something. The hate and hate mail. Broken up and org found to protect carriage horses. Not sure. This is panaceas. Pastry is the portmanteau name. Cronuts. And this is SPCA. Okay, broken up, apart, swears, avows or something. This is ATM, right? Venom, number seven. Okay, Golan Heights, yeah, spell there. Uh, this is some kind of cut. Carl Sanders features a goatee, bowl cut. Rainbow, this is a retrain. Burrows are asses. Meat and potatoes. Brie Larson. Short life. Maybe bio. Whatever you say, hun. Okay, dear. Go back here. Black ties affair are galas. This is projection from the fashion of late ETA. This is TAs and SAS. Move furtively. Maybe sidle. No, this is emu. So skulk or something. Fortunate circumstances. Uh, we're breaking something, I guess. This is all a blur. This is Arby's. Lucky breaks, I see. More Move more up and down as a relationship. So shakier or rockier. Emerges. Earthy hue could be ochre. Never know how to spell it. Duck a muck. This is a pick. Arises. This is Tessa Thompson, ESM, this is in day, and tap offerings in brief, IPAs probably, a bit of preachy prose, some of the military. Okay, super, super, super ultra, also accords, figures, Arafat, uh, 56 down, e.g. sun here, and sesh, big nose, peso. Avatar of Vishnu, is it Rama? No. That's Orb. Maybe it's Rama. This is Uff. Take up again. And Tin Ear. Brett. Resume. Okay. This is Seed and ABC. Really hate a poor there. Horseshoe. Um, left base. Gem. Okay. I don't know what these are. These are limits, though. Avia, ovulets. Okay. Lavished here. John Grisham, shamrock. I see. Up. A stir. Third base is on the left. I see a blend. Stone and parable. All right. We've got things that are lucky. Broken up over 
multiple fill, even nearly symmetrically, maybe as close to symmetric as you can get. Lucky breaks, nice little revealer. Impressive. Impressive to break these up over three. Vapor sesh oof, meaning egg in French. Num Urs and Venom, number seven. Yeah, bowl cut is fun. Yeah. I think that's very that's very nice. That's very neat. It's a nice interpretation of lucky breaks. Pretty iconic collection of lucky items. It's like what else? Like a rabbit's foot. You could also do what else? It's lucky items. We should look those up. How many other? Doesn't not not so many spring to mind. Lucky items. Yeah, rabbit's foot. It's like a oh around the world. Number seven. Barn star. Yeah, of course, you know, there's things all over the world, but... You know, not a lot of these have the same sort of... Oh, wishbone. That you could probably break up, but maybe hard to change the meaning of the, the bone. Right here. The meaning of... Yeah. Nothing gets broken up into different parts of its meaning. It's not like horse appears. Yeah, nice. About right for Wednesday difficulty two, I think. Got a mini tie-in. We got see seeing in the mini. Interesting clue about the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Avia took me a while because of ovules. I think I said ovulets, which is not what that says at all. Name and price lists, Eli. Oh, I see. It's one of these cryptic clues with the E L I, the E from price, and the L I from lists. See, these kinds of clues seem to be getting more common these days. Um, not my favorite. Golan Heights, I think, is a an area in Israel. Can't type today either. Or near Israel. Oh, okay. The region defined as the Golan Heights differs between disciplines, a geological and a biogeographical region. Oh, as that, the term refers to a basaltic plateau. Okay. As a geopolitical region, it refers to the border region captured from Syria by Israel during the Six Days Six Day War. Ter okay, I see. So actually, saying it's a region of Israel is perhaps calling it for one side of the dispute. A region in the Middle East. Golan Heights. Not the best fill, but because it's just a you either know it or you don't proper noun. It is crossed quite quite fairly though. So that's okay. Nav. Navigators. Some of the military are navigators. That's a I think that's a Iffy clue. Maybe, you know, sat nav or something. I, I, I guess nav just isn't great, Phil. Really. It could be cher or cherie. So I left the, uh, cute clue on dough, mommy dears. That's why I left the last letter off of that. Cronuts. Remember cronuts were like a super big phenomenon? I've actually never eat, eaten a cronut. Cronut, you are a QT. Yeah, that's kind of a rebus. Right, a rebus to a crossword puzzle solver means something different than to a normal person. <laughs> right, a rebus is just a square with more than one letter in it. Maybe even a number? Could you call that a rebus? I'm not sure. But usually re rebuses refer to these like um, letter puzzle kinds of things, you know. Top secret here. So sure, this is sort of a simple rebus. Skulk, nice K's. I guess Lucky Breaks and Shamrock both have a K crossing there. Duck amuck must be Daffy Duck. That's also not great, Phil. 
I mean, it's it's figure outable, but how much is a muck actually? Oh, okay, it's apparently it's an alternate spelling. It's a variant of the way that's usually spelled. All right, okay. It's hard. Third base is on the left, at least from the perspective of the batter. Is that also left toward left field? I don't know much about baseball. Uh, I go to baseball games to hang out with my friends and drink beer mostly. Anyway, nice little Wednesday theme. I'm into that. Be a uh, pretty normal Wednesday time. And uh, right, we should do the plus word and then we can take a look at who's on the leaderboard at this early hour. So let's switch over here. I think I have the date correct now. All right, let's uh, let's do the plus word. Music for a film that's the score. Uh, and Creed, but could be Credo. In fact, I think it is uh, Squad Posse. This is Strap, maybe Train. Props. Uh, this is Rights. And Sue. Uh, au revoir, adieu. Whoops. Really? Oasis? Okay. And. Uh, draft. Alright. Hopefully, the, uh. <laughs> the setup of the scene was better. I really. Still can't get it to save my settings somehow. It's not skipping over these letters, these fold-in squares. Maybe these these just don't save. Okay, I, I, it could be bigger also. Um, <laughs> maybe I need to, I need to go every time. Every time I do this, I need to to set those settings or something. Not sure. Anyway, let's uh, let's just take a quick look at the leaderboard for tomorrow before we head out of here. We've got Herman Chow. Good old Herman Chow. Hope grad school is treating you well, Herman. And uh, the old secret leaderboard, we have the Duke Priest. Shout out to you. Hope you're enjoying Atlanta. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.